Hi guys, Nurse Adam here, USA Home Dialysis. In this training video, we're going to walk through how to properly draw up your heparin medication. As many of you may be aware, heparin is commonly given before your dialysis treatment in the format of a bolus. That's what we call it, a heparin bolus. It's also commonly given after your dialysis treatment as a HEPLOC, heparin lock. We instill this medication into your CVC lumens to prevent blood clotting in between treatments. So the same concept given before treatment to prevent blood clots in your vascular access and your hemodialysis system is the same as we give after treatment to prevent blood clots in your catheter. It's a very effective medication for that purpose. So a couple things, best practice for withdrawing and administering medication. Always want to wash your hands first. Hand sanitizer or soap and warm water will suffice, and then put on gloves. Also be aware of the expiration date of your medication. Please discard any medication that you have at home that is expired. Lastly, the concentration of your medication. This heparin, as you can see, is 30,000 units in 30 mLs. So the conversion is 1,000 units per mL. Okay, always know your concentration. So for example, if your heparin bolus order is for 4,000 units to be given pre-treatment, you would withdraw 4 mLs. If your HEPLOC order is for 1,600 units or 1,700 units or 2,400 units, you would pull out 1.6 mLs, 1.7 mLs, or whatever the according conversion is. You get the point, okay? As with any vial of medication, you always want to take an alcohol swab and clean off that lid before you access the medication. Okay? And you're going to let that air dry for a few seconds. Real quick, we will supply you with the appropriate syringes. Please take note, some of the syringes are 3 mLs, some are 5, some are 10. Typically, your heparin locks for your CVCs, we're going to administer or we're going to supply you with three ml syringes. It's just easiest to read the volumes there on the side with three mls. The needle here, it's simple righty tighty lefty loosey. You want to keep the needle on, obviously, when you puncture your medicine, okay? So give it a little twist to the right. Make sure your needle's tight. Remove the cap, and you're going to advance the needle straight down into the medication. At this point, invert the medication upside down. The reason being is you don't want that needle to be suspended in the air bubble that's in the med and drawing up that air. Okay, you want to invert it, make sure the needle is totally covered by the medication you want to pull up, and let's just say that the order for today's CVC lock is 1.6 mLs. I'm going to pull back on the plunger all the way down to 1.6. Keep in mind, you want this syringe and medication set up to be completely vertical, up and down. I don't want to angle it, you know, back or forward. Keep it very much straight up and down, and you want to get it eye level. Don't try and read your medication down here. Get your medication at eye level, and once you're at 1.6 or your appropriate volume dose, pull straight down on your needle like that, okay? Now if you have some air bubbles in here, you can take your finger and flip out the air bubbles. Keep in mind you don't want to push on this plunger because you're going to lose medication out the tip, okay? So don't push on the plunger, but you can flick some air bubbles out. If you do have a larger air bubble that's just not coming out, feel free to pull back on the plunger and you'll see the air, the air pocket created there. Pull back on the plunger, keeping the syringe completely level, and you can force that air bubble out by pushing on the plunger very gently and slowly, pushing the plunger up, and now that air bubble is completely out. And I'm still at my 1.6 order that I need to give for my HEPLOC, okay? At this point, I have the appropriate dose. My air is all out. I can put my cap back on carefully that I don't stick myself. Now in instead of tightening it to the right, I'm going to loosen it and take it off by twisting to the left. That comes off like so. And then I'm ready to administer this heparin, in this case, 
to my catheter. 